Hi guys, welcome to another Hoi4 video. In today's video, I'm gonna play as Romania and I'm gonna do achievement run slash achievement guide, however you wanna call it. So let's start with the regular difficulty and historical AI focuses on, and of course, armament mode on. We start democratic, so it's to throw out dictatorship right away, which will make us not aligned. Also, we're gonna go for typical research, basic machine tools, construction one, and engineering. Let's build mills. I'm not gonna produce any ships, I'm just gonna go for convoys. Also, let's produce one factory of support equipment, one factory of artillery, one factory of trucks, one factory of these planes, and the rest is just gonna go to guns. And let's instantly create our agency. Also, I converted my entire army to this infantry template, that way we're gonna have maximum army in the field. And here's our first hedonism event. I'm gonna go for the first option, which is gonna give me a massive nerf to economy. We got our first operative, let's hire him and let's send him to, like, uh, Dagestan. He's gonna build the intel network there. Haha, 69, 69, ha 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 ha. Technically 69 today in the game as well. Let's hire army offense expert for some army XP and let's now revise the constitution. Yeah, sure, if I finish this focus first, I could get a discount here, but it's not really that big of a discount. Discounts for the political advisors are bigger. Let's go for political loyalty, which is gonna give us 10% stability. And our next focus is the Royal Foundation. This will give us the fourth research slot in like August 1936. Romania is pretty powerful. Also, let's go for Concentrated Industry 1. And since all of these guys are now cheaper, let's get Sound Workhorse. And let's upgrade our agency a little bit. Once again, King's Mistress purchases Vula, we have to go for the first option. Yeah, we really don't have to, but otherwise we're gonna run out of political power and whatnot. Speaking of political power, let's go for Air Reformer Expert. Let's also go for Improved Machine Tools. Uh, let's improve the agency some more. Also, we've got 50% Intel Network, so let's do quite Intel Network. And let's now do the best focus during the entire game, and that's Balkan Dominance Path. First focus isn't anything special, but we need to finish it in order to do these other OP focuses. Also, let's create a new template. It's gonna consist of only one infantry battalion. And let's put 20 of these into training. Also, I'm gonna give them top priority so that all the new guns end up here. And let's get the sus pills. We have almost reached our manpower limit. So let's go for limited conscription right away. Let's now deploy these divisions and let's convert them to the biggest template that we've got. This way we're gonna have lots of army in the field. Time to get passive defense. And let's put some more of these guys into training. We finished the Balkan dominance. Next thing I want to do, I want to end up at war with somebody. All of these focuses give events to countries and then if they say no, we get a war goal on them. However, focuses secure Greece and secure the Bosporus give us direct war goals. Basically, I want to go at war with Greece. While me being at war, all the other countries are going to be way more likely to say no to my demands. Directly puppeting a country is pretty bad. It's much better if you get a war going to take them out instead, because then we get lots of army XP, we get to puppet them ourselves, which means we get their resources, we get their factories, and we can even take some land. Only country that I can't avoid from basically saying yes all the time is Bulgaria, but it's fine, it's just Bulgaria. Also, let's get Professional Officer core for some more army XP. It's time to improve worker conditions. And let's get Radio and Concentrated too. Bulgaria submits as always, pretty much. Let's now join the anti combatant Pact. And to secure Greece, we need a little bit more manpower, so let's deploy these divisions. And let's secure Greece. Next thing I need to do, I must uh, minimize the number of divisions that I've got. In order to do that, I'm gonna duplicate this template, and let's make the second template. The second template is going to be much bigger than the first one, and I'm going to convert all these divisions to that template. This way I can have less divisions while still having the same number of troops in the field. Also guys, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. You should subscribe yourself now! Subscribe yourself, I mean that with a hundred percent, with a thousand percent! Also, let's get the second operative, and let's prepare the first collaboration government in the Soviet Union. Also, I must remove engineers from this template, so I don't lose the support equipment. And let's give top priority to operations, so that all the guns end up in operations tab. Also, time to improve the artillery, and let's go for partial mob. We got 639k in the field, which means we can go and delete some divisions, like this. Once again, I gotta make this division template bigger. Next focus is Align Hungary. For this I need to have 150% of their division number. The less divisions that I've got, the bigger the chances that they're gonna say no, which is exactly what I want. Also, this chance will be boosted if I the Code of Arm Greece, which I'm just gonna do now. Alright, here we are. I got only 29 divisions and I got more than half a million in the field. These divisions are very, very chunky. The Kingdom of Hungary Defiant, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Now I can either do nothing or get a war goal. Of course I'm gonna get a war goal. In the meantime, I wanna divide Yugoslavia, but I can't do it because I got too few divisions. So let's deploy some of these crappy divisions. I can do it now. Okay. 
and let's get formation flying and uh, I will build an airport right here. And it's time, let's declare war on Hungary. Just because I have very small division count, I can go for extensive conscription, which means I'll be able to get another 2.5% of global population. Let's give our guys a general and a field marshal. I also gotta improve the planes some more. Talking about planes, let's move them here. And I've got 126 planes. That's not that bad. Hungary has got like half that amount. Now we have to break through somewhere. Keep in mind, our divisions are pretty weak. And their divisions are also pretty weak. But they got way more than they do. In the meantime, I could go for localized training centers. Yeah, let's do that. And we managed to break through. And my goal is to encircle as many Hungarian divisions as I can. Because destroying them is gonna make me feel happy. Because these are Hungarians after all. I also get lots of army XP and my generals will level up a lot. Bonus point for taking their capital, which is the only supply hub in the entire nation. Yeah, thank you, Paradox. Alright, we finished the Vida Yugoslavia. Next focus is national defense industry. And guess what? In this split up of Yugoslavia, we can literally invite Kingdom of Hungary despite being at war with them. <laughs> Let's start requesting all these states. It's gonna take us 20 PP per state. Okay, we got 45% compliance. Let's build the Intel network here again. Let's get superior firepower. Let's get some survivability studies. Let's get bombs. Our next focus should be split Czechoslovakia. So let's start it. A draft dodging. Come on. I'm just going to do nothing about it. Instead, let's get elusive gentlemen. Oh, look at this beautiful encirclement here. Time to get the lay. Here we are. The last division is destroyed. And they're at 99% towards capitulation. But I'm not going to cap them just yet. Let's do quiet Intel network. The yeah, Adolf Hitler accepts. And they said yes as well. And just look at what we have created. In the meantime, I could go for agrarian reform. Also, let's put some of these smaller divisions into training. And besides that, let's make this template also bigger. Basically, I made sure that Hungary has a Czechoslovakian state, the Southern Slovakia, and I can simply take in the PZ when that's a slice of Czechoslovakia as well. I can also take Alfut, which is slice of Hungary, which means that all I need is slices of Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, Poland, and Soviet Union. It's time to start claiming stuff in uh, Yugoslavia. I'm gonna start with the states in the south, and let's prepare the second collaboration government in Soviet Union. Haha, <laughs> I said Union, not Union. I'm so funny. Time to get that bombing. Now let's research our HMGs. Agrarian reform is here. Our next focus is secure the Bosporus. This will get us a war goal on Turkey. And let's present a ultimatum to Yugoslavia. They're most likely gonna say yes. Okay, they said no. Okay, so we have an event. In two weeks, we're gonna declare war on them, pretty much. I'm just gonna let this auto-click, and let's first capitulate Hungary. I want to take Alfud, and I want to take Southern Slovakia. Let's puppet them and add war operations here and here, and let's add resource rights. Now I have to defeat Yugoslavia somehow. Let's put these divisions into a border like this. And here comes the war. We attacked them and so did Romania. Anyway, we're at war with Yugoslavia, and uh, they left lots of land uncovered, so yeah, let's just enter it. We can even make some funny encirclements here. Yeah, Yugoslavia is a little bit too generous, don't you think? We just took Belgrade. We took their capital, which they still have. <laughs> oh my god. I think this is how, how Yugoslavia fell in World War II as well. Like, they were just so disorganized, Germany just blocked over them. Almost like having a diverse nation is a formula for disaster, who could have thought? Who the hell is... Greeks are doing a naval invasion in here. Oh my god. Bro, they literally grabbed Split for themselves. <laughs> they won't give it back. Somehow we even got less casualties, way less casualties than Yugoslavia. And I think Yugoslavia is gonna cap now. Yep, here we are. Let's take one of their states, I'm gonna take West Banat, pop them in all the states and make sure to steal their sieves, steal their resources, and let's steal their navy. And we finished secure the Bosporus, which means we got a war goal on Turkey, let's instantly declare war before they actually troll us. Alright, since I finished all of these focuses, I no longer have to deal with all the division shenanigans, so I can have whichever division template I want, I'm gonna use this one because it's going to require less guns. First army down here, while the second army is going to have a fallback line on our coast. Here's the thing, I can't lose Dobrich or this city right here, because if I do, then I lose control over this state or this state, and then I fail my achievement. It's a painful achievement, I must admit. Anyway, let's get mobile defense. And we currently lack only 12,000 guns, so let's do local police force, and I'm going to do it with the cavalry. Let's also remove engineers, because they're so expensive. And now we wait. For miracle to happen and that's the turkish naval invasion into the romania they eventually will do it hopefully they take this in this province and here we are naval invasion they landed there but not into constanza hey, it's fine let's delete this order let's now just control and right click and 
they're gonna support attack them without moving in. The best thing is they're gonna send some more divisions here. Here they are, let's destroy them as well. And they arrived in Constanza as well, let's destroy them and let's move our navy into Varna. Prepare the second collaboration government, it's 45%, uh, which means you got 90% collaboration. Let's cancel the last preparation, we don't need 100%, 90 is good enough. Also, let's go for war economy now. We got quite some industry, so let's start building stuff inside of Bulgaria, hopefully lowering their autonomy soon. Let's now do Malaksa. I could have all these focuses spawn factories into Moldova, rightfully so. But let's request all the Bulgarian divisions, I'm just gonna randomly send them uh, in this forest. And they will never be seen again. <laughs> let's call Bulgaria into the war. I have to start pushing into Greece. Direct ground support. Make sure to give my guys some trucks at least. Next focus is invest in ER. And guess who ran out of divisions? Let's encircle these remaining Turkish divisions. On the other hand, guess who ran out of land? The duality of the man. Lose people or lose land? Why lose one where you can lose all? Rip Greece. Let's puppet them and let's steal their sieves resources and navy blah 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 you get it i do this every single time let's get integrated support and let's improve the anti-air like how they're still trying to like defend romanian ports next focus is hunedoara still works that's it turkey is gone same procedure with it let's get fuel storage let's lower the autonomy of bulgaria this got me 10 factories nice let's now build inside of yugoslavia Germany attacked Poland and Italy's influence over politics. We need 11k guns, and guess what? I can actually buy guns. Why wouldn't I? Also, let's make the new planes. I'm gonna go for basic small airframe, heavy machine gun spam, engines two, and self sealing fuel tanks. Chaos is gonna have bombs instead, engine two, self sealing fuel tanks, and I think we can afford armor plates. Yes, we can. Just as Sarge just occupied eastern Poland, which means soon they're gonna go after us. But they're first gonna go against Finland. I'm gonna put one army per four provinces. On top of that, I'm gonna take Bulgarian divisions. And let's give them this order. They're gonna protect our coastal cities. In the meantime, I could improve worker conditions for some stability. Now let's expand the University of Bucharest. Rip Albania. I'm totally not biased on where I build factories. Totally not. Time to get synthetical experiments. If I run out of rubber, I'll need this completely. Let's get formation fighting. Let's hire Armand Kalinescu. Also time to modify this template. Let's give it... Uh, support anti-air and also infantry battalion, so it's 20 width. And I'd go for engineers, but I don't think I have enough support equipment. Let's produce it. I don't know what else to go for. I guess I'm gonna fortify the border. Let's go for improved small airframe. <laughs> Let's lower the autonomy of Yugoslavia. That's gonna be like another 10 factories. Oh no, that's like 20. That means I can finally make some planes. Next country where I'm gonna build stuff is Turkey. It's time to start justifying on Soviet Union. Let's build level 2 forts everywhere. And I have too many divisions on this front line, definitely. I'm just gonna use one full army. I'm not even kidding. I'm gonna keep one army right behind the front line. Well, one army will mostly focus on the coast because we can't lose Dobrich and these other places. Next focus is flexible foreign policy. Next focus is appoint pro allied government. And here we are. Finland is gonna be at war soon. I just hope the Soviet Union ends the war with them soon. Let's hire infantry expert. <laughs> Carl II wants to restore order in Soviet Union. <laughs> Justification is ready, but I'm gonna delete as much as I can so I can get all this equipment here. Also, I should improve my airports. And let's do the constitutional guarantees for extra factory output. That's the end of the winter war, that's good. Let's lower the autonomy of Turkey. It's time, let's declare war on the Soviet Union. Now I'll have issues with the West as well, because Italy will get a war goal on Greece, so let's get an aggression back with them. On top of that, Germany will get a war goal on Yugoslavia, so let's improve relations with them. I'm also gonna do diplomatic pressure, let's produce as many planes as we can. All we need to do is to hold this line. We've got to improve small airframe, but let's first get tension 3 before we can make any new planes. They almost took this province, let's reinforce it. Anyway, let's now build stuff in Greece so that we can lower their autonomy as well. Next focus is army maneuvers. Let's get the organization first. Oh look, a naval invasion. All we gotta do is make sure we don't lose Dobrich and that didn't happen. So what we can do now is destroy divisions that arrived in Constanza. And we can do it over and over again. Let's get that no aggression pact with Germany. Another naval invasion. They took this port, that's even better. They now got two ports where you can take them out. So it's got over a million casualties, but they still got 150 divisions. That's a little bit scary. Anyway, it's time to start building up Intel Network in Germany. Alright, it's time to take out the Soviets. Let's get divisions from Yugoslavia and from Bulgaria, I think that's enough. 23 divisions, they're gonna have orders these guys have right now. Basically protecting our coast. 
Let's send the first army right here, one army will go here, and the last army goes here. And good luck, boys. And let's go. Nice encirclement here, and another invasion. Please don't take the bridge, thank you. Oh my god, please, please, please. Oh my god, nine divisions, come on, yes. Mutual beneficial trade, yeah, whatever. Time to lower the autonomy of Greece. Yeah, randomly my stability is just going down and down and down. Maybe because of war support. The Soviet Union isn't looking very, very good right now, but neither is our manpower count. Let's go for the uh, service requirement. I love the duality of Hoi 4. Crimea is not a core of Ukraine, but it is uh, a part of Ukraine's strategic region. <laughs> Finland attacked Soviets again. Oh wait, that's because... Oh crap, Germany attacked them. Okay, let's join the Axis. I can do it. I'm totally gonna do it. Like the Allies, Axis isn't really discriminatory for ideologies. Allies sometimes get you into their faction and then just kick you out. And look at this. This is the best part. Since I got tons of war participation, I'll be able to steal their controlled states, which means that all the occupation will now go to me. Let's hope this war ends quickly enough so I get more participation in Germany. Fall of Pietari, that event is so stupid. Why doesn't it say Leningrad? It's so stupid. Come on, can we take Moscow and this madness? Come on, let's put up these guys, Ion Antonescu. Go die in a swamp of a greater Romania. Come on, Ion, I believe in you. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it, yes. Good job. One more city, one more bigger city left. Let's try to take Kalinin. Come on, Ion, you can do it again, I believe in you. Never mind, we capitulated them. Alright, here's the peace deal. If you wonder what I did here, I gave Finland back its land, I puppeted the Soviet Union basically everywhere. I only took this state because I need to own one Soviet core, and this one as well. Created this funny Belarus, funny Ukraine, and also Lithuania. I own slices of all of my neighbors except for Bulgaria at this point. My canonics Greece, but let's not do that. Let's instead focus on Bulgaria. I'm basically gonna send them all the equipment that I've got. The provisional government of Romania and Russia. I can make it a second Russia here, but let's not do that. I don't get it, why can't we court Transistria? It's so stupid. Icelandic American cooperation, more like uh, annexation. Talking about annexation, let's annex Bulgaria. We own a slice of Yugoslavia, a big slice of Bulgaria, slice of Hungary, slice of Czechoslovakia, slice of Poland all the way up here, and slice of Soviet Union. Which means we got our very first achievement, death or dishonor or cake. Our next achievement is neither death nor dishonor. For this one we have to wait until 9042. We have to either control Berlin or Moscow. We don't control any, but we can annex our puppet. Russia and control Moscow soon. Okay, let's start building stuff in Russia. And let's improve worker conditions as well. I'm just gonna train my own divisions and I'm just gonna deploy them and convert them to the Russian template. You know it's a late game when you see this. Or like you know you're a brain dead when you see this. Let's lower the autonomy of Russia that instantly gave me over a hundred factories. Also for whatever reason they've made the state core of Belarus a few batches ago. Okay let's deploy these divisions. Let's convert them to a Russian template. This should drain the Russian manpower I think. Yes, it just did. I think it's time to start building these synthetic refineries so we can get some rubber on our own. And there goes the Russia. You know, you're powerful when annexing you takes a minute. We got these divisions, so let's delete them and let's get that juicy manpower. Next thing I'm gonna do, let's release Mongolia. I don't really care about Mongolia. I could release them as my puppets. Great Mongolian state. <laughs> I'm also gonna release Far Eastern Republic. Dependent state of the Far East. Bro, you are literally a puppet. It's time to start preparing for a villain arc. I'm basically gonna betray my allies. But first, let's give our guys support rocket artillery. And yes, I'm using 20 with infantry in 9041. You can't stop me. Just goes to show that templates don't matter in single player that much. It's truly a genius. Descended from heavens. By the way, we finished the land auction. Oh yeah, let's give back Altfeld to Hungary. Since I'll be having a war with the Axis, let's prepare our divisions. The first army is gonna go like here. Second army is gonna go like here. And I'd sent her down to Albania, but uh, Italy was very competent again. Guess what? This achievement is a lie. You don't have to wait until 9042. You just need to wait until December 31st, uh, 9041. Weakness of Axis is their crappy air force. Let's build airports everywhere. I think I'm ready, let's just defend the USA. I need to end up at war with the allies in order to betray my own allies. I also have found a funny bug here, I'm gonna show it to you in a moment. Watch this, let's attack USA. And what I can do now, I can simply click join the allies. Now, I have white pieced these guys completely and I left the axis, which means I can join the Japanese faction right away. Usually end up being at war with them. Well, this way I just avoided the war. <laughs> Right, let's call Yugoslavia into the war and let's push right away. I just want to take Trist and hopefully encircle some divisions. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Rip Mussolini. 
Please be my own puppet. Thank you, game. And Yugoslavia gave up its own course. <laughs> well, we thought it's actually easier than I thought it's gonna be. Damn, this country was super giga, ultra nerfed. Like 50% of the times now, they just peace out with like Ethiopia. But this time, they actually did take some stuff here. Good job. Yeah, they probably focused in Africa too much and then didn't expect this. Don't worry, Steiner's counterattack will sort it all out. Oh, look, naval invasion. Okay, that one's a little bit scary. Too bad, I got a whole army ready to be deployed. <laughs> Guaranteeing great Mongolian state. Mm, nice encirclement here. Didn't even use any planes. Goes to show that these holes ain't worth a dime. Come on, Eon, do what you do the best. Force attack at Cressa Strait. Eon is not only Eon. Eon is the brand. Eon is the man of the smart people. The people of Eon are very smart. I love Eon. Wow. Let's eat Greece. I'm too tired of this. Air adoption finished. I'm not very not mentally ill. There's nothing enough cast can't do. It's like a duct tape. Oh no, agent captured. I don't care. Sir, please let us remove your appendix. You're gonna die. I do not care. Another beautiful encirclement in Baltics. Nice encirclement here. Oh yes, grats. Grats these nuts. Oh, they attacked Vichy. Thank you guys for giving me another enemy. Let's train two more armies real quick. Wait, what the hell happened here? No, I must get back my boy Ion Antonescu to fix this. Oh my god, we managed to break through here. No, Denmark declared war on Germany and because of that I'm um, at war with Japan. Well, that's why I released these guys, now I don't have a direct border with them. You know what time it is? Time to call in Lithuania and I can push into Prussia. There goes the Königsberg. I think the biggest insult is East Prussia being called Western Poland, a strategic region. How the hell did French get this? Maybe I'll be able to encircle all of Germany in here. Oh my god, I did it. Look at this. I'm out of manpower. How surprising. And I can do this. And this. And now I can do all that serve. Vichy capped. Oh rip. Oh my god, look. Another massive encirclement here. This is beautiful. And here we are. Unfortunately, Free France did uncapitulate itself but still we got everyone here we got Poland as well we can take everything in this peace deal all right that's it for this peace deal uh, we got Romania and Italy here and Vichy France still kind of exists which I don't understand it's d04 tag it's a dynamic tag it should disappear and uh, yeah there is Albania here it should get me the achievement yes it did However, last achievement I want to get is assuming direct control. Let's instead join the allies. Now I just need to take over their faction somehow. For that I need 7 million in the field. I got 3.3 and I'm out of manpower. Poland has more manpower than Germany. It's time to start annexing all these countries. Let's start building stuff in Poland. Let's also put a hundred of tiny divisions into training. <laughs> Look at this. They're literally improving their national spirit. <laughs> They're in the allies and the allies control London and Paris. <laughs> They run out of manpower in 3, 2, 1. Italy is actually gaining autonomy. Let's make sure that's not gonna continue happening. Wait, what if I give them back their land? Will they have a little bit more manpower? Yeah, that's gonna be good. Bye bye, Poland. Next country on the list is Germany. Oh no, UK kicked us out. Okay, that's misfortunate. But I can join back whenever I want. Damn, Germany has lots of manpower. Rip Germany, and they gave me hmm, like a 2 million manpower, that's not bad. I'm guessing Italy's next. <laughs> Italy has zero manpower, but they do have big army. Kiru, hold up. Rip Italy. Yugoslavia has manpower. Yeah, let's give them back their land, now they should have even more. My face when Zaozi has more factories than Prague. Oh wait, Japanese peace deal, I did nothing. Confirm an exit. <laughs> People want me to ease up conscription, I can't do it. Oh yeah, I was showing the allies while I still can. I'm a little bit too scared to see what happened to Japan. They are now independent and they have war goal on the allies again. So we're gonna see a round two. Goodbye Yugoslavia. Okay, I finally got enough manpower. Now I need to do now is to put like 300 of these into training and then convert it to big template. Wait, 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 memes incoming, memes incoming. I can release Vichy France right here. As my puppet, <laughs> Vichy France in allies with the monarchist flag, which is not even in Vichy, it's here. <laughs> Let's convert these guys to the giant template, not this one, but this one. Seriously, they kicked me out again. I have to justify on 
Iran and they have to survive for three months, otherwise I'm screwed completely. No, Great Mongolian State is now a colony. Okay, we've got 9 million in the field, we just need to attack Iran. Here we are, let's attack them. I've set up everything just to join. Okay, good. They invited me. Now I should be able to take over the faction leadership. Here we are. Assuming direct control is unlocked. And let's do the funniest thing ever. Let's kick out Britain. Because they kept kicking me out, they deserve this. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, share and subscribe. I'll just to let you know it's 3am right now. Wait, I, I can't end the video like this. I must take out Iran. Here's the peace deal and uh, UK did one of the most vile things ever. Not splitting uh, Iran into two republics, which makes no sense, but actually creating Kurdistan in Kurdistan. Anyway, I can end the video now. Bye.